city nearby where I attended the personal training collective. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mario here coming at you from uh, Bristol, UK. I actually just arrived here with a train from uh, a city nearby called Bath, where I attended the Personal Training Collective Conference, which was a conference with the world leading experts in the fields of exercise and science. I learned a ton of science, I learned a lot of new research, a lot of uh, evidence behind latest exercise and nutrition things that I'm going to be releasing to you guys um, over the upcoming weeks. and. Uh, one interesting thing that was kind of talked about throughout the weekend and something I get a lot of questions on and something that I believe that a lot of guys have been asking me in the comments, a lot of got messages that went on social media were, what is the most optimal training frequency? Basically, how often should you hit each body part per week? So if you can choose to hit it once, twice, three times, even up to five times, what should you aim at? And it's a really good question, right? So we know that in terms of muscle hypertrophy, how you get build get muscle, build muscle, right? Volume is the king, right? Volume, reps times sets times weight is the king. That is the primary driver of hypertrophy. And over the time, you want to increase that volume and you want to have that progressive overload component, right? So you're getting stronger, you're lifting more weight, you're adding more reps, you can do more sets. And over the years, that will happen. And now, what frequency is, what training frequency is, basically what does it mean to hit multiple, um, a muscle group multiple times a week, is basically the way you organize that volume, right? So as you progress, as you increase your training age, as you get more and more experience, the more volume you're gonna need and it gets harder and harder to maintain the quality of volume if that volume will just simply come from one single session. So you can't do too much in one single session, after which it becomes um, a little bit of uh, hitting that point of diminishing returns where your focus is not optimal, you're getting more tired, you're more fatigued, you can do less weight because you've just done too much work at once. And in that situation, that's where the the thing with training frequency becomes very, very important because you can actually modify your training program to be hitting the muscle group multiple times per week and that way you can mitigate the fact that you will get those diminishing returns in one single session. So from if you summarize all the, all the kind of research and whatever stuff that is out there, my personal recommendation would be to train a body part about two to three times per week. And I'm not saying that just from the simple standpoint of volume, I'm saying that from a standpoint also of skill acquisition because as you're training these lifts such as squats and other compound movements like bench press, the deadlift, there's a big benefit of training that lift more frequently. And um, with the deadlift, you can probably get away with training it maybe once heavy per week and then maybe some lighter variations throughout the week and maybe with the squat you will benefit also from incorporating maybe pause squats, different kinds of squats. But these movements take time to learn. And the best way to learn these movements is really to train them, to do them more frequently. And as a beginner, it tends to be even more important to do that because you're passing through that phase of neurological adaptations before you can even get muscle, to that optimal muscle growth. And that's why I find it very, very important to train the lift multiple times a week. And I'm not saying that you won't grow if you do the muscle group once a week, you know, I mean, you definitely will grow. And uh, I've trained for the first year and a half, close to two years. I just did a classic bro split where I did the muscle group once a week, you know, the, the, the classic old bro split where you hit chest triceps, you know, back biceps, and then you hit shoulders, and, and then you hit the legs, right, and the shoulders, abs. I mean, I did that routine, and I did it for a very long time, and it, I mean, I got some good results. But when I switched to higher frequency after a while, I noticed I could maintain a better quality of workouts, quality of volume, and I could get better results. So that's kind of my recommendation there, stick to two or three times. I don't know, there are some people who take it really to the extreme where they're tra training it four to five times a week. I wouldn't say that's necessary uh, for someone who is, uh, who is basically less than maybe f five years of training and someone who's not a powerlifter where they're really into that school acquisition where they want to master their squat and really have it like be so so efficient that you don't even need to warm up basically you know if you train the squat every day i mean there's been some 
studies in Norway with Norwegian frequent, famous Norwegian frequency study where they shown that training the squad multiple times a week, even higher frequencies, maybe even twice a day, you know, we can be beneficial for in terms of strength, but for hypertrophy, for size, for bodybuilding, for physique goals, there hasn't been much compelling evidence to show that more than training a, training a body part more than two to three times a week is beneficial. So that's currently what we know. I mean, if there is there any research coming out, I, I'm always open to sh change my opinion and adopt new data and improve my programs. And uh, I would say for now, that's a really good general rule of thumb to go by. And um, the results are quite fantastic when you first move from that uh, bro split to a higher frequency training program if you're never used to it. Uh, you could actually incorporate periods of where you hit the, the bro split and any periods where you hit the higher frequency. I mean, there's really no limitations. This is, a, this is an art form. This is not a strict science because this is an applied science. And when something is an applied science, there's a, there's a lot of nuance and there's a lot of uh, kind of room where things can change. You know, things can be done in different ways. And there's many different ways you can uh, get to five. You know, it can be three plus two, it can be one plus four, it can be five plus zero, it can be six minus one. You know, it's like it's just a simple example, but there's many ways to do this. And the key is really to find the best way that suits you and that you can adhere to and that your training pro program really fits your needs on how many times per week can you get to the gym and then you kind of adjust the training frequency toward that. I had really good success with upper lower splits where I had uh, been training muscle groups twice a week. So I hit the chest, um, let's say on a heavy day and then there's like a moderate day on the second time or like same for the, for the squat, for the legs. And I had really good success with that. I also had really good success with, uh, with, with three full body sessions per week where I train each body part three times a week. I also had success where, we, where I would train um, uh, upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower. So three times a week and I would hit heavy, moderate and light day, you know. I mean, there's many different ways that I said to train. The bottom line is that the, I saw the benefit of higher frequency. So if you stick between those two to three times per week per body part, times per week per body part, you will get uh, good results and uh, that's pretty much uh, the conclusion that I came to and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's getting really freaking chilly here in, in the Bristol, UK. Um, there was actually some um, some rain coming down today and it was uh, was ice, you know, it wasn't really just rain, it was ice. So I'm exploring the city a little bit, I, I'm taking long walks, I'm hitting like 15 to the 20,000 steps per day, which is insane. It's really burning a ton of uh, extra calories as well, which allows me to try out some of the uh, delicious foods that, that are available here. So I hope you guys are uh, enjoying wherever you are. I'm at the Queen Square here in Bristol, UK. Queen Square looks pretty nice, as you guys can see around me. It's pretty cool. Uh, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions on training frequency. So shoot me a comment below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.